Wanted to pin them back a little bit more than you did, but they never really seemed to, you know, threaten to score very much. Uh, really, we just our opportunities. We took advantage of them when they presented itself, and um, I think we did a good job as a whole. You know, containing everything they gave us. Aaron, I know quarterback runs were a big um, concern going into this game. You guys seemed to bottle them up well, to not really let him out and get loose. Really, just our defensive line, you know, contain and make sure they stayed on their points and, you know, making sure we rallied to the ball. Quarterback was very, you know, they had some effective runs, but we, I feel like we handled them. Does it feel like the pitch is shut out? It feels great. Anytime you get a defense, you know, the pitch is a shutout. You know, it's a great opportunity for our defense and just shows, you know, the hard work we've been putting in all year. Why do you think you played so well on defense? As a unit or individually? Unit. Uh, really, just our preparation throughout the week and, you know, it's been a great opportunity for us, you know, the whole season, and we've just been getting better and better as time goes on. And, you know, we're just grateful for the opportunity that we got this week. How comfortable do you feel now? I feel, I feel very comfortable, you know, just playing my game, you know, learning processes, you know, pretty much over, and, you know, just been growing every week, and, you know, really just grateful for every opportunity that I get to be on the field. Darren, how important is it in the next couple of weeks that you guys, you know, force turnovers? Well, definitely it's very important. We're going back to the SEC play, going on the road, so we have to find opportunities to generate momentum. You know, so we're looking for the opportunities when they come our way. And you said the learning process is pretty advanced for you. Are you surprised at how far along I guess you are in that process? Definitely. You know, especially from day one, you know, starting as you know, starting off as a freshman coming in and you know, it was a big learning curve that I had to jump into, and you know, I'm grateful for everything that you know I've arrived at now, and you know, definitely just playing my game, making plays, and you know, just you know, thankful for every opportunity I get while I'm in there. Darren, you had more more tackle than Jalen today. You let him know. I actually haven't seen him. I heard it from you guys. That's what. Um, definitely gonna go in there and you know talk a little crazy to him. Finally got beat him. Kyler Was anything about the, the field difficult today? It looked like there was just a lot of slipping going on. Um, there's a little bit of slipping going on, but you know both teams got to deal with it. You know, so we just got to adapt to every environment we play in. Collar, is there maybe a reason why the offense maybe took a while to get you? You know, so the first touchdown drive and took you guys a while to kind of get back in the rhythm. Is there any reason for that? Um, I don't know. I think it, you know, just was some little things. You know, certain guys aren't getting on blocks exactly how you want it. Um, you know, not not reading the defense exactly how we want it. Not you know making a pass or catching a ball or, or making a cut exactly how you want it. You know, and I mean we were close. You know, it was one guy away from you know getting big gains and, and you know big rushing gains and big passing gains. Just one one little thing away. I think you know we kind of hurt ourselves with that. Um, and it's definitely something that we have to look at in the film and be able to grow from for these next two weeks. Is how much different is this offense when Josh is maybe not running it as much, whether he's injured or not? I guess he's not running it as much as he like, was earlier in the season. How much does that change what you guys do and can do? Um, I don't think it changes uh, much at all. And I mean, it's not that Josh is hurt. that we just He just didn't pull it on a lot of things. That just wasn't the read. Um, because, and I mean, the reason why he didn't pull it is because defenses are watching him. And, and they're afraid of what he can do. So, you know, we want that. And, you know, if they're, if they're trying to defend him, then they can't defend somebody else. So um, we want it to have, you know, have numbers for Jalen or Kamara or throwing it outside so they can make some plays. Kyler, after your first three seasons here, there weren't bowl games. So how significant is it that you're bowl eligible again and you know you're going to finish with back-to-back -back postseason here? It's pretty awesome, man. I, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it, and you know, I just feel like, you know, I left this place better than when I got here, and that's really what I was trying to do the whole time. And I think I can speak for every senior that's still here is that you know that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring Tennessee back to where it's supposed to be, and I mean that's what. You know, that's why we've had these big recruiting classes these past few years, because those guys want to do the exact same thing. You know, they want to have Tennessee be back to the tradition of winning. So um, we're really working hard towards that, and I'm very happy with this whole team and be able to get to six wins before, you know, a last game not nail biter. Um, it feels good to have that clinched. Uh, when, when you look at uh, the next two games, Coach Jones talked about, you know, you're bowl eligible, but, you know, you win the next two, and, you know, 
keep improving your stock as well, the polling you may be able to go to. Um, how important are those as, as a senior and leaving it better as you found it? It's huge. Um, you know, Vandy is our rival, so we always want to win that game no matter what. Uh, and Missouri has had our number for the past few years, and, you know, we want to be able to get that monkey off our back. And it's not, you know, it's not we're trying to play these games to get in a better bowl. You know, we're trying to play these games to win. We don't, we don't want to lose. That's that's the thing. It's not, you know, we're not really concentrating on what bowl we go to. We're concentrating on Missouri now, and that's it. So one day at a time, one week at a time, and, once we figure this out, then we can move on to the next week. Kyle, when you see you guys aren't moving, uh, you said the little things were the reason you guys weren't moving the ball. How hard is it not to press and kind of start getting frustrated and just kind of keep calm? Uh, it's it's really hard not to, you know, um, get frustrated with it. Um, I, I, I can say I was, I, you know, I was getting a little frustrated that we weren't moving the ball, but um, you really just got to stay positive out there because, um, as an older guy or as someone that, you know, some other guys look to, if I'm, if I'm getting frustrated or yelling at somebody or, you know, just down, looking down, anything like that, then they'll feed off of me and they'll want to do the same thing, which I can't have that happen because if we, if we all are like that, then we're not going to be a good football team. So, you know, um, I have to just stay positive as much as possible, and I think everybody else does too. I mean, we trust in everyone on the offense. We trust in the play calling, and we just have to go out there and get it done. It's not, you know, it's not just X's and O's. It's it's, you know, the blood and flesh and bones of people that are out there doing it. So we have to take that on ourselves and be able to work on that. Uh, what did you see from Alvin today? Obviously, he's really good every game, but it seemed like he really carried the offense there. Uh, he did a great job. I mean, just making the right cuts and making us right when uh, you know we were wrong, and and being able to read you know our blocks uh, that was a lot of it is um, setting us up you know being on the outside of one guy and then cutting inside so he sets up the block um, and Alvin was really really capable of doing that today and uh, really helped and got his two touchdowns so I'm sure he's really happy with it. Skyler, can you ever sense before a game whether you think the team or the offense is ready? Uh, yeah I mean I don't think I could um, exactly tell the whole team I can tell a few guys you know, I especially look at the offensive linemen, you know, we just spend so much time together. And I, I read their body languages and, and see how they're feeling. And, you know, a lot of them were, you know, excited to play the game. Uh, um, they were all positive and all out there ready to have some fun. You know, it wasn't uh, let's get out of here. Let's, you know, get this over with. It was, you know, let's go out there and have some fun, which is what you want um, out of out of your guys. And I was I mean, I was proud of how they played. I don't think anybody on the O-line really played bad. Um, so, but yeah, I think I think they played really well. Was it a little bit disappointing to you guys not to get the backup, some of the other guys, more reps than they got? Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to see, you know, some of those other guys get some reps. I wanted to see what they could do. Um, I always watch um, Dontavious Blair, every practice, every play that he gets. So, you know, I wanted to see, you know, what he could do. I, I wish I, you know, could have got him in there earlier. Um, and, you know, I was telling him that earlier in the week. I was like, I'm going to try and get you in there, try and get it to where you can get some reps. So, um, yeah, it was a little disappointing not to, you know, be able to see them get their get their reps in. But, uh, you know, we still won. Still, still a victory, so. All right, thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Team's it. That's it.